All right, I'm in San Diego. We're at the Next Star Super Meeting. And right now, I'm on board the USS Midway. Tonight, the Next Star Foundation is hosting a fundraiser for the Troops to Trades organization. Troops to Trades is an awesome organization that is focused on providing career opportunities and scholarships for folks getting out of the military and transitioning into civilian life. It's phenomenal. Go to troopstotrades.org to learn more. Today, we're gonna to talk about getting the job that you've earned. Now, I'll admit, getting a job or finding a job searching for a job and applying for a job is a pain in the ass no one likes to do it it's not fun you go onto an online job board you submit your resume and boom nothing happens that sucks it's not fun at all so we're going to talk about focusing on getting your resume in front of the hiring manager so the hiring manager's got a void that needs to be filled they've got a need they've got a certain set of skills knowledge and abilities that need to be fulfilled and you've got that certain set of skills knowledge and abilities so you need to get your resume in front of the hiring manager so we're going to talk about how to do that now let's start with reviewing the job posting you really want to make sure you know exactly what they're looking for what what are the day-to-day -day activities they are looking for what are the big accomplishments they are looking for and what requirements do they have how many years of experience are they requiring certifications licensing are they asking for a background and, and drug screen you better make sure you can pass those Next, you want to review your resume and make sure your skill set, your skills, knowledge, and abilities line up with what they're looking for. Remember, the goal is you're filling their void. They have a need, your goal is to fill it. Next is contacting the hiring manager. Now, if you already know who the hiring manager is, that's easy, right? Pick up the phone, email, Facebook, whatever it is, and get, you can get your resume in front of that person. If you don't know who it is, it might require a little uh, research or go into the office and ask around find out who that hiring manager is and see if you can spend a few minutes with that person hand them your resume and be prepared to explain how your skills knowledge and experience fit with what they're looking for lastly get to know people or get out there and network referrals are still the most effective way to get a job and they're the most effective way that companies have in finding people so get out there and talk to people, get to know people, make connections, get your resume out there, get the word of mouth out there that you're looking for a job and you've got the skills, abilities, and knowledge to do that job. On that note, thanks for listening. Support our troops. Visit troopstotrades.org, and I'll see you next time. Now let's start with reviewing the resume. I'm sorry, focuses on providing scholarships and career opportunities for veterans who come out uh, there are a ton of online job boards out there. You scroll, I didn't, it's a pain in the ass. Never mind, let me start all over.